All right, I'm in Eagle Pass, Texas. This is Main Street. Uh, I just arrived, so I'm just going to take a drive down Main Street and uh, let's get a lay of the land. See what it looks like. Uh, looks like a small town or a small city downtown, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, that's the uh, border with Mexico directly ahead of me. So I am heading in that direction right now. border fence right here uh, in either direction but uh, the gate is open so I'm just going to drive in there see what's there uh, that is the international bridge or one of the two international bridges here and of course that's Mexico over there yeah, this is, well, let's see. Yeah, you can see I'm very close. Looks like I'm at a park of some sort. Uh, tons of Border Patrol right there. Their trucks are usually white with green stripes or, uh, you know, just plain white. But there's plenty of them here right now. And, uh, Looks like the Rio Grande right there. How about if I get out and take a look? I'm gonna do that. Yeah, it's pretty quiet and peaceful. Uh, I got a police officer there. Uh, the area is swarming with law enforcement. <laughs> this looks like a boat ramp right here. And, uh, you know, we've got some wire right here. Yeah, there's the Rio Grande. See Mexico across the way. Interesting. Anyway, I'm going to take a look around some of the other places here in town. And, uh, See what's going on. All right, I'm going to head this way. I'm going to go underneath the International Bridge. So go over to the other side. Uh, like I said, there are two of them here. I don't know if I can go in here or not. Let me see. I know a lot of the uh, apprehensions are right here beneath this bridge. Huh. I don't know if I can go down there or not. I might. Uh, I might get out of the truck and see if I can go down there and see what's going on. I've uh, walked across these soccer pitches and I'm almost uh, here to the river. You can see these railroad cars, shipping containers. I had read about them. Uh, here they are. Uh, they're using them to be a sort of barrier. You can see a colorful mural there on the Mexican side. 
that's the Rio Grande uh, on the other side of these uh, railroad cars, these shipping containers. And of course, that's Mexico in there. Uh, Piedras Negras, it's the Mexican town on the other side. This is one of the major cross border, illegal cross border areas. Uh, I'm gonna guess they're not gonna let me go down there. You see, Border Patrol guy, his truck there. Just in the past year alone, there have been 340,000 apprehensions. It's one of the busiest spots along the border. It's all quiet right now. But uh, if you see those, can you see those white posts that hold the bridge up? If you look on the internet, you can see lots of pictures of uh, people illegally crossing the border right there underneath those. And of course, then they're just detained as soon as they get over here. Anyway, yeah, this, the town of Eagle Pass has been overwhelmed, as has Del Rio many times. I'll show you where I'm at here. Yeah, here's the bridge here that I'm right next to. And there's another bridge right here. So, uh, yeah, you can see it in the distance. There's the bridge. Again, that I'm right next to, but there's another bridge over there. Uh, I'm gonna go to that one right now. You can see the second bridge right here. I'm gonna take a look. See if I can get out somewhere here. Uh, yeah, right here. I'm gonna turn in. See if I can go down here. Uh, this is another spot where there is a lot of uh, cross-border activity. I'm just going to drive up here a little ways. I didn't see a no trespassing sign yet, so I'm just going to drive on up here. I can see some. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely see some. Uh, National Guard over here. Bunch of National Guard right there. So I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna get out and take a look here real quick. Yeah, you can see these uh, storage containers, rail containers lined up along here. I'm thinking I can go right up, yeah, right up here. Yeah, like I said, this is one of the hot, hot spots. I mean, a spot where people cross a lot. And, uh, yeah, look at the barbed wire. See some life jackets there on the ground? Yeah. If you look on Google, you can see pictures of people crossing across the river right here it happens a lot and uh, a lot of National Guard right there keeping an eye on things there's the other bridge that I was just at and uh, Piedras Negras the Mexican town I see a guy walking along the other shore there it's a, uh, what is it? It is a Wednesday. Yeah, today is Wednesday, early October. It's about 11 a.m. Beautiful day. It's uh, about 75 degrees right now, but it's supposed to get up close to 90. I look cool over there. You can see some horses <laughs> on the Mexican side. See if I can zoom in on them. Yeah. So, looks like some horses grazing over there in Mexico. Pretty cool. 
Yeah, I can see some border guys down there. There's a boat right over here. I don't know if you can see it through the brush. Probably not. But they're just keeping an eye on stuff, it looks like. It's quiet right now, though. Nothing happening right now. It's quite peaceful, actually. Except for the, <laughs> the barbed wire. And all the trash. Wow. I'm just going to give you some better looks here. Uh, nobody's messing with me, though. There's five or six National Guard over here. And some Border Patrol on a boat down there. And they're just ignoring me. I'm just a nerdy guy in glasses. <laughs> anyway. Wow, how cool, huh? Yeah, I can see some people over there on the Mexican side. I'll zoom in a little. Going about their daily lives, huh? In Piedra Negras. Negras? It's probably Negras. It's the proper way to pronounce it. Anyway, all right. I'm still walking to the car, but yeah, you can see the see these guys on this boat. Uh, I guess just waiting to pick up people. Uh, one other thing I forgot to say about the river here before I head up to the Bronco is that uh, it's a dangerous crossing, especially when it rains. Uh, I believe 13 people have, have died just in the past month trying to cross right here. When it rains, uh, the river swells and gets very dangerous, from what I understand. But anyway, so there's that. You can see the Bronco right there. I'm going to head to it. Here, I'm going to show you on the map where I'm at. So you can see uh, I'm in Eagle Pass. You can see I'm right on the border here. Uh, Piedras Negras. Uh, so I'm going to head in a couple other places next uh, and see what uh, else is going on here a lot of news happening here though especially with the uh, elections coming up and uh, illegal, illegal immigration being a big time hot button all right I'm up to the road there's a road that just kind of uh, goes along the border here that's this one I'm gonna drive down it for a little bit uh, see what's here yeah again there's um, the Rio Grande that's the bridge I was just at this is a rail car or train bridge uh, so I'm gonna see what's up here I'm just cruising along here still. Yeah, it's not much here except just the road and the fence. But you can see the heavy presence. It's police, National Guard, and Border Patrol. A lot of them in there still on this road you can see the fence just ends here let me see if I can see what's down here most likely I can't drive here I'm not seeing any signs yet but um, yeah you can see the border fence just ends right here uh, here let me show you where I'm at I'm just a little bit south of the town. Looks like uh, end of the road right here though. No trespassing, yeah. Hmm. Kind of interesting being on the inside of the wall though. <laughs> huh. I mean, that looks like an orchard, doesn't it? 
It's kind of pretty actually. Uh, okay. Well, I'm just going to head down this road a little bit farther. See what's there. Okay. Well, a lot of trash. Well, I'm almost to the uh, yeah part where it breaks away from the border. Uh, there's some border patrol right there, just hanging out. A bunch of them there. Wow. Anyway, uh, all right. I'm gonna turn back in or turn back around and head back into town. I have uh, disembarked the Bronco. I am in downtown Eagle Pass. That's uh, kind of picturesque. I'm wondering what this building here is. I parked in front of it on purpose. Uh, there is the public library right there. And I'm gonna read this placard. See what it says. Uh, Maverick County Courthouse, <clears throat> a landmark of the Texas-Mexico border area, built in 1884-1885. Uh, site chosen by Citizens Committee, donated who donated $800 toward purchase of land. So here's a better look at this county courthouse. You can see a clock up there on top now. It's a pretty impressive building, it really is. All right, so I'm going to head this way into the quaint little downtown that Eagle Pass has here. And I'll tell you about the town. I'm a bit deeper into downtown. Uh, I want to check out some of this interesting architecture, including this theater, the Aztec. Uh, yeah, they got some lights strung above the street here. I'm guessing it looks pretty nice at night, even though whatever this building is, it's empty. But that is uh, some amazing architecture. Definitely local. On down the street here, we have Fat Lizard Pub Saloon. Uh, I don't know if it's open. It's not open right now, for sure. And right next door to that, District Shot Bar. I, mean, I would go have a beer if either one of these places are open, but they are not, it doesn't look like. I guess they only, or they don't open till evening. Anyway, as I make my way down the street here, I'll tell you about the town. Uh, in 2020, the U.S. Census said that there were 28,130 people here. Uh, Eagle Pass was the first town founded on the Rio Grande by the United States. All the other towns were, of course, founded by Spain and Mexico. Uh, I, I thought it was called Eagle Pass because of that, you know, something to do with the bald eagle, but apparently not. Apparently there is some sort of geographical area here along the river that resembles an eagle, and uh, so that's why it's called that. I'll give you a look down these streets here. And we got a mural here. Huh. That's pretty nice. Um, it's a busy cross-border town. I was reading that 6,000 people a day cross into Eagle Pass from Mexico during the week. And we got a grocery store right here downtown. Um, anyway, yeah, 6,000 a day during the week and 10,000 a day on the weekend. So uh, for a town of 28,000 people, that's a pretty hefty surge of people coming in every day. Um, here's the hard numbers. Poverty rate is 25.2%, which is over twice higher than the U.S. average. Per capita income is 18,832. Uh, the median household income is $46,005. Uh, U.S. average is 
like 67,000 if I remember right. I've told you that number many times, you guys. You probably have it uh, memorized by now. Crime rate is low, which is apparently normal for these border towns. Uh, 21.9 per 1,000. U.S. average is close to 40, so it's about half of what the U.S. average is. So again, another low crime border town. Um, average home, according to Zillow, is worth 186,300. Realtor.com pegs it a little higher at 238,000. So that's less than half the U.S. average. So buying a home is pretty cheap. Rent is even cheaper. The average one bedroom apartment will run you $591 a month. Yeah, that's low. Two bedroom will run $763. Yeah, lots of shops along here. And a three bedroom, a three bedroom apartment will cost you $968 on average here. Uh, cost of living is very low. Yeah, I'm pretty much down to the other end of downtown. So I guess I'll get back in the car here in a second. It's just kind of soaking up this atmosphere a bit with the Spanish music. <laughs> you know, and all the colorful stuff. Yeah, yeah, this is pretty much the end here. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get back into the Bronco. Uh, and head north just for a little ways. Okay. That guy might need a, uh, a muffler. Uh, yeah, and um, see what's north of here uh, towards Del Rio. I'm going to um, make a right up here. Uh, yeah, you can see where I'm at. Real close to the border. But I'm gonna make a right up here and um, see what the neighborhoods look like. And then start uh, making my way north. Just for a little ways. Uh, see what's going on. But right now, I'm going to take a look at some of the uh, areas of the city close to downtown. Uh, see what the neighborhoods look like, perhaps. down this way uh, heading to a neighborhood right up here I'm about a block out of downtown well that's really nice yeah I'm gonna see what's up here uh, the housing is really colorful isn't it you see that when you're here Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to go this way. Yeah, there's a border fence. <laughs> uh, getting right up on it here. Checking out some of the artwork on this wall, though. Interesting. Yeah. You know, right up against it right now. So I'm gonna head up this direction. See if there's anything interesting. Looks we got a few places here. Huh. Wow, see there's the wall there. Rio Grande's on the other side, and then that's Mexico that you're mostly looking at. I 
if I can get a better look over here. Yeah, look at that. There's a shack of some sort down there. I don't know how you get to it. Can you see that? I guess you have to get to it from the road that the Border Patrol guys use. Anyway. There's definitely some decay, isn't there? Look at that old house. Yeah, it's just sitting there empty. That was a beauty in its day. That's too bad. I got some goats here. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Really big, beautiful homes here. It's actually real nice. You can see I'm heading directly to the river. So I'm going to keep going up this way. I mean, I'm almost there. Uh, let's see what's down here. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm right at the river. I'm not sure what's going on here. Like you can see a trailer there. Drive down a little farther. Take a look. Hmm. I was thinking I could maybe uh, check out the river here, but it looks like that's going to be a no go. Or is it? I got private property here. Okay, I got you. Yeah, this is the river. How about that? I found another spot. Let me get out and take a look. Um, it is looking beautiful. How about that? You know, it's so weird, uh, just, what, five miles maybe north of Eagle Pass and all that border security and police, and to come here, there's nothing, there's no one here. Wow. It is amazing right here. Looks like we've got some rapids. Uh, let's see, look down here. Look at all the fish. Can you see them in there? Wow. Yeah, the river is uh, moving pretty quick here. Can you see that over there? Let me go down here, take a look. And here's another spot. See all these butterflies? So many. Anyway. Wow. It's something. Yeah, Mex Mexico looks like a jungle over there. Really thick. Yeah, there's no security here. I saw no border patrol driving over here, no police, uh, but wait a minute, is that something I hear coming down the river? We'll wait and see. Yeah, you can definitely hear something coming this way. Border Patrol.
patrol. <laughs> so I guess they are patrolling the area. How about that? And okay. And down the river they go. How about that? Well, I guess I was wrong. I guess there is some security here. Anyway, okay. Well, there's the trusty Bronco. I'm going to get back in it and uh, continue on my way. I'm driving down uh, 277 and I'm heading towards Normandy. You can see that kind of on the top of the map. Of course, you can see the border to the left. Um, Normandy is one of the top illegal border apprehension sites. Uh, groups of 50, 100, 200, 300 routinely illegally cross here. Uh, it's one of the top spots along the border. All right, I'm here. Uh, it's very quiet, at least in this spot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and go right here where it gets real close. Yeah, it just looks like peaceful farmland, doesn't it? You would never guess that people are picked up here by the thousands, uh, illegal immigrants crossing. It looks very quiet and peaceful. Anyway, yeah, I'm almost there. Let's see what happens. See if there's anything to see. It's not really looking like it, is it? Well, I'm still making my way down this road. Uh, there's another close spot there. I'm gonna go to that. But uh, to be honest with you, it's pretty peaceful here. I'm not seeing border patrol or police. I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, I'm right up against the river here. And uh, it's just really quiet. Nothing to see here, folks. I'll give you a look in both directions. So, okay. Not a whole lot happening here. Anyway, I'm going to end the, uh, this video here. Um, I'm about 35 miles from Del Rio, but that's going to be the next video. So, uh... Yeah, Del Rio will be next. Be looking for that.